So I'm making hibachi tonight and I'm doing white onion. I'm doing some portobello mushrooms, some broccoli, and some zucchini. Um, I have a few shrimp that are thawing out. And I have a piece of steak over there that I'm going to cook up. And um, yeah, just call me Benny Kia, period. Actually, don't call me that because I don't even like Benny Hanna's. <laughs> not good I actually like the local hibachi places back at home with the good yum yum sauce um Benihana's is yum yum sauce is trash <laughs> in my opinion it's not good but, and to me that's what make hibachi bomb I don't know about nobody else but the sauce is the best part so you can't have no trashy um hibachi sauce and a bajou restaurant. Cut this again. It's so easy. Like, I mean, it's cute to go to the restaurants for like, you know, the experience. But honestly, if you just crave it, don't go spend that money just because you crave it. <laughs> Make it at home. They even sell yum yum sauce in Walmart. I can't say I like it. I have it. But it's not, I can't say I like it. If I have all the ingredients to make it, I prefer make it. So I have one, I'll show you. To me, it's tangy. I don't know, I don't like it. But I have everything I need to make it. So I'm just gonna make me a small amount for my dinner. All right, it's a lot of zucchini. I don't really want to cut up no more, but what I'm going to do with this piece? It's going to go to waste. And we're not going to waste nothing. So, here it is. Okay. That's my trash bag, y'all. Trader is sitting on top of my trash can. All right. And I'll come back. I'm going to start sauteing everything up. Oh, I do need it. I need to mince up some garlic. So I'm probably gonna mince up some garlic. Or I might do it in the pan, honestly, because when I do garlic, I do it on a grater. So I peel it and then I just grate it. So I'll probably do that. And I can't show you that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my steak. I just got a piece of um, chuck steak. So I'm gonna cut a piece, um, freeze the rest, and season it up. Just pan sear it, cut it up into pieces. And yeah, I'll be back. Who else like to have a little, a little, just a little, a little wine when you cook? I don't do it often, but why not? It's Saturday. I haven't had wine in a couple weeks. So, a glass we shall have. Purple. Purple. Cheers. Alright, I'm about to cook my meat. I just put black pepper. Um, I put some Creole seasoning. I put garlic powder. And a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I am making a little bit of rice. All right, I took my meat out. I set it in the toaster oven for a minute. That's what my steak looks like. Yummy. 
And now I'm gonna just actually, I'm gonna just use the oil that left on the meat. And I'm gonna use that for my veggies, give it flavor. And my broccoli. I feel like that needs to cook down a little bit more than everything else. I'm gonna cook this a little bit. Everything else cooks really up fast, like the zucchini. Um, and the mushrooms. Just a little bit, cause we're gonna use soy sauce. All right, let's add a little slice of butter. And that broccoli pretty much took up all that oil. A little bit of lemon pepper added to almost everything. Garlic powder. And you want to keep your heat to a certain level because you want your stuff to brown and like saute. You know, we don't want it to like steam and create a whole bunch of like juice so i'm gonna turn this up a little bit you want it to saute that's why i'm waiting to add my onion and mushroom because mushroom tends to um, create moisture and we don't want things getting soggy because it makes it time consuming. I'm real funny about when I cook. The order I do stuff in. Ooh, just snapped my onion out. Um, so I'm about to cook my shrimp. I got them here. Um, and I'm gonna just put a little bit of salt. And a little black pepper. We noticed, but at the hibachi says they don't do much to this shop. Tiny down a little bit. Here on standby. 
Oh, and I have put oh, a little bit of grapeseed oil, like a, a little bit, like a drip of grapeseed oil, and a really thin slice of butter in the pan on the shrimp. And uh, let's put a little bit of Creole on these. Look like they're gonna need it. And I lie, I'm actually going to use the hibachi sauce because. Yeah, I'm tired and I don't feel like making them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add fresh lemon to it. I'm going to try to freshen it up. I think that's what I don't like about it is it tastes... It tastes real jar sauces. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It tastes like a sauce that came out of a container. It's like a tartness or something. Like, whatever they use to preserve it. And that drives me in freaking insane. But... A little sugar, a little um, lemon, and I should be able to get it to taste pretty good. Ooh. chopping them into like pieces so that's what we're doing Good though. Mm -hmm. Lemon and garlic. Whew. Maybe that's all you need. Lemon and garlic. The pan tastes so good from that. I'm about to put the food back in there real quick. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. This is the finished product. Bon appetit.